guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you the different formulas and functions that we have in excel so without much further ado let's actually get into it so here are different formulas and functions that we have in excel from a1 up to cell a9 so Let's get into it. So the formula for addition goes like it's equal to sign the number of cells which you want to include in your formula plus the number of cells which you want to include in your formula. So let's put this formula into practice. Okay. So let me just put numbers here. Numbers here. And numbers here. Okay. So let's let's go. The formula for addition is is equal to sign number of cell which you want to include in your formula and this will just include this 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 cell here okay a one plus sign and the other cell which i want to include in my formula is this cell so i just click on this cell and then i click enter so you can see that this is our answer here okay up here in the formula bar you can actually see that it shows how our formula went so you can see here is equal to sign e1 is the cell that i have included in my formula plus g1 so i have included in my formula okay let's go to the other function okay so this one is subtraction so subtraction the formula goes like is equal to sign the number of cell which you want to include in your formula minus sign the number of cell which you want to include in your formula so let's put that in also into practice okay is equal to sign i'll just click on this cell here minus sign and click on this cell here and then enter so this is our answer here you can also see on the formula bar that our formula is equal to sign e1 is the number of cells which i have included in my formula and minus sign f1 is the number of cells i have included in my formula okay so here we have um multiplication so this one goes like is equal to sign number of cells which you want to include in your formula times the number of cells which you want to include in your formula okay so this one goes like is equal to sign a number of cell which I want to include in a formula is this one this sign here okay you can actually see if you look closely on a, on your keyboard you can't actually see the multiplication sign so this sign this one is the one that we use for the multiplication okay after that I'll just click on the so which i want to include in my formula too so i want to include this one too and then i click enter as previous you can actually see that the formula actually shows in the formula bar okay let's move to the division is equal to sign the number of cell which you want to include in your formula divide by number of cell which you want to include in your formula okay so let's put that into practice it's equal to sign click here and the division sign on the pc is this one the slash that's the division sign okay so um let's include this one into our formula and then click enter so this is our number so here on the formula bar you can actually see what's really going on Okay, is it go to sign E1 divide by F1? Okay, let's move to this one. So you may actually find problems where they may ask you to find maximum the maximum number in your in your cell. Okay, in a in a range, I mean in a range of a cell of cells. So what you can actually do is um let me add a little more numbers here okay for the second add numbers here okay so what you can do is 
you put the executive sign here let me just put that into practice real fast here and then you go you type max okay open bracket and then you go where you want to include the cells which you want to include in your formula so when you go there and you drag this up to the end of the cells which you want to include in your formula okay then you put close bracket and then you enter so here is our maximum number so here you can actually see the formula there is equal to sign max from cell e1 to cell g3 then enter that's what brought us to our final answer here okay so the next formula is for finding minimum so here you just put is equal to sign mean then you also open bracket then you also go where the cell range which you want to include in your formula so let's just include the same the same cells and then close bracket then enter so here you can see that our minimum is 69 and also on the formula bar you can actually follow what's really going on okay so here you go into the next one which is the count so count you may they may actually you might have a lot of numbers here like here you have a number here um i have numbers here numbers here so they may actually tell you how to count these numbers how many numbers do you actually have all of them so to reduce uh, reduce the uh, time that you will spend into counting all these numbers one by one you can actually put this formula for counting so it goes like this equal to count open bracket then you drag this here you include all the cells that have numbers and don't have numbers too okay excel will sort out how it will count all those numbers okay so you just put enter and then you count it to 11 it doesn't matter if the cell has a number or not excel will determine whether this one has a number it will count all these numbers who all the cells which have numbers okay so here's the if function so the function is a little bit complicated because it seems to shows whether those values those what you're saying what you're saying in a in a function is whether true or not it tends to vary with whether it's false or it's true okay so here i'll just show you how it works so you put here is equal to sign if if open bracket then you say can click on cell this cell is greater than you put the greater than sign greater than this one and then you put a comma here and you put okay my keyboard is messed up <laughs> this here if no if uh, is it true then close black here yes then you can actually see that this our formula is what I'm saying is wrong so e3 is not greater than 3 5 that was false so here we can actually see that it seems to show me that what I've written in my function is actually true or false. So guys, um, these are some of the most used formulas in Excel. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel.